Hey there, folks. My name is Dazrin, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, the final episode. Time to go take a bit of a talk to the uh, the crooked man here. Hey, how's it going? Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Not Give at all. One good reason not to rip you apart right now. This silver bullets. Six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Oh, yeah? Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your laws. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Yeah, I mean, that what was the plan anyway. For is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. In front of the sure community? I would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Fine. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. Coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. <laughs> this is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. Uh -huh. I didn't kill those women. No, you just tell other people to do you your dirty that. work. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. Uh huh. There's still a lot you have to answer. Businessmen. For. Kind of, will. I mean, hmm. as long as you agree to my terms. Oh, because and we'll... I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Fine, whatever. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers, but you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Why? You're He's looking to the practice. side. And I worry uh, thinking of the Let me ask you an honest question. Uh Big B. What do you really care about here? Big B. This is concern, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Why does he keep looking to the side like he's waiting for somebody to come and get like they're going to like somebody's the killer has been dealt with. You've won. No. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's really? So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it if you don't mind. Uh, what do you say? Hey! I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pub. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your no. punishment will follow. He <laughs> Punishment that uh, I'm sure I will get to carry out. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Resolution time, right? 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 I know. I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are we sure he's coming? Yes. You'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. Yeah. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. I followed I'm just orders. Glad you made it back in one piece. Oh, thanks. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. 
Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? What do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook! Alright, well... Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. Yeah. The crooked right. man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed oh, my boy. sister? Oh, Where boy. Where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Oh my god, no! I killed him. He's dead. He's... Why couldn't what? I just say he's dead? So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll yeah. deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was told I, don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? The impatient prick. If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And for being a condescending prick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to, because I literally just said he was a prick. Like all right. <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Oh boy. Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Just Everyone let him. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You just... wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? Just the crooked him. man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it house. fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is a justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. All right. This is ridiculous. Say what you have to say. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've oh, all God. met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? <laughs> Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such a bullshit! For once. I've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Uh -huh. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? Helpful isn't the word I would use. My comrades are another matter. And I'm sorry for the predicament they put you in. Uh -huh. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me. As I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. 
Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, mm. left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? We didn't abandon anyone. We've been trying to help them. Really? What about Archie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Don't blame Snow, she had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. What? You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. Oh boy. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best okay. for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Like you did with her? Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Do you really think the Crooked Man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And God, those yeah. girls will have their justice. Gosh, yeah. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just need... Of course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm oh responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... 
He killed a man. Now don't make him a murderer, for fuck's sake. Killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly... They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. Me? It was them. And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it in terms of... Oh, oh shit! Before. How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? He was I mashed apples while under What did under no I did it? Right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie <sighs> killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own uh, crisis. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, I... Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to help. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to uh. this disease world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, what? judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? <sighs> Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Oh Who God, I want to protect you. I want to punch you bad. so bad. Who will be the Bigby, Miss White? Excuse me. I. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wife? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. You can. We're kind of in the middle of something. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You can say something you now. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> But you know what? Now it's my turn to die. Yeah. I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a oh, lie. I boy. was in the goddamn room when he did it. Oh, Faith yeah. They were dead because of you. <laughs> the only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have <laughs> never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Yeah, yo. You know? Looks like yeah, yo. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's got to pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay oh. all I've done for you. Oh what, boy. You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Well done then. Now for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him, lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. 
That's I assure not good you, enough. There will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So we get rid of him. We can send him away. Everyone, listen up. Oh God, everybody. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think we. This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do there we really go. Do you really think that's going to work? Yeah, why not? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What why about not? Bigby? What? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Okay. To me. I'm all right with that. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Down the witching well. So, just do what you think is right. I think it's time you go down the witching well. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head That's off. Right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can look. Everyone, I'm not this way. What? Oh, you oh. son of a bitch. Ugh. You all remember this moment. Think Throw. of me when you try to sleep. You're going to miss me. Boop. No, I won't. <laughs> bye bye. For Lily and Faith. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the books. Whew. Is that it? Nope. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, Ooh. great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Who? What? Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Alright, what's... This fucking line. Hey, Jack. Hey, guys. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. All right, well, I'll go give them to him. Right. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Okay. We'll All talk right. later, okay? All right. Good morning, Miss White. Hey, Lee. You're late. <laughs> Down the elevator we go. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Really? He don't give. He don't give two shits. <laughs> All right, well, well, go ahead and uh, go catch up to Flycatcher, who I don't know at all. Never seen him before. At least I don't think I have. Maybe I did, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Colin! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Look. <sighs> shit. Just go grab that, would you? Aww. Sorry about all this. Uh, 
I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another <sighs> chance, but Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> what is it, Clem? You know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... Sure if thing. You could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's Aww. a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. Oh, jeez. She still love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. Go up, oh, note. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. Even in daytime. Don't worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So <laughs> you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? I really didn't feel like saying that, but... <sighs> saying goodbye? Yep, you know it. That's how I roll. Hi. Hey. Hi. How's it going? You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess <laughs> I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. It's alright. God, she removes it and your head fly, Listen, just flops I, off. Ugh. I came here Ugh. because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. What about I'm it? I'm not sure where to start. Oh boy, this is going to be a long one. Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've I'm... seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? Uh, I thought if okay. I came clean to Georgie, he'd <clears throat> get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Wait, but... I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. Yeah, but, but then, obviously that didn't go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I. Oh, okay. <laughs> she smiled. Okay, good. I don't Maybe. know what happened. I'm sorry. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does oh, it matter? Shit. I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? 
It was true enough. I guess uh, it's done as done. I, I guess. know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after. I get it. That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. It's like her clothes so are so 90s. I so 90s. I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh. That was you? Oh. I walked her over here. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get okay. forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The women yeah. look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. Snow doesn't really need me. I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> I'm a little brutal. Say After least. everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Boom. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So Boom. from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. No. Thanks. Nerissa slash Ariel. I appreciate it. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh. 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 That's. Oh. Oh. I, need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. Oh, like wait. Before. Wait a minute. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Oh. So they used to call me the little bird. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, shit. I'll see you around. Wolf. Whoa. What did you do? Uh, 43%, 70%. Brought the crooked man 31, threw him down, 94, attempted to, or decided to accept. Said, I hope I've got done some good. All right. Wow. Special stats. You impressed her with your, you used similar interrogation tactics. <laughs> no, I fucking did it. Ah, gave him a drink. You helped him avoid the farm. Took him back to the, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's did. Interesting. So that was the final episode of Wolf Among Us. I loved it. That was great. Uh, it, it was absolutely amazing. And uh, it looks like it's definitely leaving open some possibilities for a second season. Um, definitely uh, some openings for it. So hopefully we'll see a second season for Wolf Among Us. Um, obviously, this I feel like the writing in this one um, is very good. But actually, in my opinion, maybe even better than Walking Dead. Walking Dead's a very good series, but I think the the story and the the the, the writing in this the game in particular, the, the way that it's a little different, the way that it's revolving around you know fables and stuff like that, makes it more interesting. It makes it more uh, something that you know you can really get into. Whereas Walking Dead obviously is more of a human story about you know human survival and and what happens in dramatic moments. So they both have their merits in very different ways, but I feel like this one pulls off what it's trying to do in a better way, but not necessarily uh, 
less, more or less emotional way than Walking Dead. Walking Dead's a much more emotional involvement, I feel like, than something like Wolf Among Us is. But uh, overall, yeah, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I think, I feel like um, this one has a lot less exploration um, and a lot more watching cutscenes and QTE events, which. I'm not always really a big fan of QTEs, but I feel like Telltale does a pretty decent job pulling them off in a way that makes it not quite so cheesy like some other games make it. Um, but uh, but I I would like to see a little more exploration. I feel like these games, I feel like uh, Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, the old Back to the Future game that Telltale did before Walking Dead, um, all of them are kind of like modern day point and click adventure games, so at least they should be treated as such. Um, and so I feel like a game like this could use a little more exploration, a little more uh, of the kind of stuff we see in point and click adventures. But uh, aside from that, it's still really awesome. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did too. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are what make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Brr.